I often have the tendency to shove shit um any type of like emotional thing that happens to me whenever i'm stressed or anxious or something bad happens or anything i tend to shove it in and i ignore it and oftentimes at least few years ago it would take me a long time to get to the boiling point nowadays it takes one little thing to bring all the shit back all the things that i've done all the things that were done to me all the shit that i regret all the shit that i i i wish i could do or say and i just shove it in and i keep going and i keep going until my glass gets filled to the top and starts to overflow but then when it overflows and i let everything out it's like there's still a little bit left and so i'd be fine for another couple of weeks after that and then something happens and it gets full again and I would think or I would hope that the, the older I got that I wouldn't be so sensitive, you know, that I wouldn't be so weak. But there's days like like today where I get so consumed with the thought of of wanting people to like me <laughs> and i'm the type of person that for the sake of peace and harmony i sacrifice myself for it i really do and and i all the things that, that I believe, which aren't many things, but I would just shove it down for the sake of keeping peace, for the sake of being liked, for the sake of, of one day maybe people will think of me. Um, And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't and then, uh, you know, I don't... Uh... But at the same time, I... I feel so selfish, too. I'm very selfish. I've done a lot of selfish things in my life. And whenever I'm down or something happens, it all creeps back in. All the shit I've ever done, all the shit that was done to me, every single moment. And it looms, you know? Life is fine and then it just, out of nowhere, decides to hit you like a truck. Or fucking bash your head in. <laughs> I don't even... I don't even know what this video is. 
I've been challenged with figuring out what it is that I want for my life and, and how I want to be and uh, the person that I want to be and what I want for, for my life and what I want it to look like, but there is never ever no guarantee of how things are going to turn out. You can just hope for the, for the best and you know, I have my own shit, my own shit that I, you know, don't, don't like about myself, that I fucking hate, that, that I wish I could be different. My own shit that fucked me up in my head. And, and I always feel like if people knew me, the real me, the me that I see myself as, the me that's in the mirror, when I look at myself, if people saw that, if people saw that, and so I don't know who the the real me is. Sometimes, maybe this is it. <laughs> And I, I try not to be too hard on myself, but that's fucking impossible because it's literally like, I fucking, I, um, I give so much grace to everybody, but not enough to, to myself for every fuck up that I've done. I never forgive myself, but I could forgive somebody a hundred times. I don't know. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Time just goes, you know? Time just, just goes and you go with it no matter how, how much you think about it or how much you're aware that it goes and just goes no matter what. And... Oh, fuck. Maybe I should do, like... I should do like heaps amount of, of drugs and fucking kill my <laughs> kill my brain cell maybe then I won't have to fucking feel so much fuck is this why people do <laughs> probably anyway I'm feeling down and uh sad and I wish the older I get the the more sensitive I get to life but also things feel easy too things that I used to stress about don't stress me out so much now it's like I've developed like new things to worry about. Even though life is good, life has been good. In retrospect, this has probably been one of the better years I've had in a long, long time. And that's a lot to say because a lot of shit happened. <laughs> But I'm grateful for all the bad shit, too. I'm, get, I'm grateful for the good shit. I, I'm grateful for the people around me, the new people around me that I don't want to hurt. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I don't fucking know what the... I don't know what this fucking video is, so... I'm sorry, but my... I don't know what this video is, so um, I don't know, but... Uh, this is it this is me everything on this channel is me the good, the bad the contemplative the the goofy side the everything uh, this is all I could ever be really and I tell myself that people you know Everyone has their own perspective of who you are based off of 
what they think. Just like I have my own perspective of who I am based off of what I think. But I've gotten to know myself so well. And I've done shit. Said shit. Fucked up in many ways. And even though it's been years, or not even, and even though I can, can, and even though I can forgive the other, even though I can forgive other people for the mistakes they've done, the ways in which they hurt me, I can forgive them, but I, I can never forgive myself. I don't know why that is, but. That's it. Anyway, I don't fucking, I don't fucking know what this video is. <laughs> I don't know. But that's how I've been. Actually, well, the last week I've been pretty decent. Just today, uh, a lot of stuff happened and also didn't. Like nothing big really happened. But sometimes I just go about my day and everything kind of comes back. Everything I've been trying to push down just comes. And I have no choice but to kind of sit in that feeling and feel it. And then let it go. But then it doesn't. I technically don't really let it go, it just goes back. And then it waits its turn to come up again. Oh well. <laughs> oh fucking well. Anyway, I can't control how people see me. I can't. Even though I wish I could. <laughs> I mean, though, I wish that. Sometimes I like overthink my interactions so much because sometimes I'm afraid that I come across too blunt or too mean or too passive aggressive or too condescending. And then I backtrack and then I feel bad and then, and then I change my tone and then, but how people see me, it's their own fucking business. Who am I to fucking control what anybody thinks of me? That's their fucking problem. All I can do is just be. Sometimes I get into my own head about it. Anyway. Um, thanks for watching my mental breakdown. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm Alex. Um, that's it. That's all you need to know.